Now I gotta ride or die So guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to do a bit of uh, car park and car dealer spotting because it's not something I've done recently actually on the channel. It's something I used to do quite a lot. We've done car park spotting, we've done dealership spotting. So now we're gonna combine them together. We're gonna to start the day off with one of the most random spots, a Lexus IS, slightly newer generation, but I don't see too many of these. You know, I'm a big Lexus fan, you know how it is. We're gonna try and get nosy in some of the, oh, uh, Zafira, sorry, GSI. Yes, lad. Oh, and look at this. Coming down here, old school Citroen wagon. That's super cool. This is what I'm talking about, where the camera comes out and hopefully the cars come out. But yeah, Zafira GSI with the uh, FYD diamond on it there. We have this cool Astra just down here as well. Looking rather funky. I've actually seen that Astra around a few times. We'll walk down here. We're interrupting today's video to give a massive thank you to today's sponsor, Aftermarket Arbitrage. Aftermarket Arbitrage is the reseller platform that you need to be a part of to start your side hustle. People are always asking me where to get shoes, games, consoles, pretty much anything sought after at retail prices. This is the plug. You can also keep these things or resell them on. And with over 2,000 trusted members, this is the safe bet for you to get in with no experience needed and start buying and selling sought after items and getting the profits in. This is a fantastic way to make money on the side or buy stuff for Christmas or birthdays that's really hard to find. I personally use aftermarket arbitrage to purchase stuff that is really hard to find for myself but it'd be very easy for you guys to start a side hustle with aftermarket arbitrage. Again, no experience needed. Use the link in the comments and in the description to start your journey right now and start profiting straight away. Thank you again to aftermarket arbitrage for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to the action. Pajero two door with I'm not sure if that's an Evo wing leave a comment below if you know but I don't know I'm not the biggest at Pajero know it all unfortunately love the Evos though but that cool spore on the back just walking past the dealership here with uh, Toyota Alphard in it now I went in one of these in Japan as a taxi one of the nicest experiences I've ever had in a taxi it was so nice inside actually had individual seats in the back of them UK you want all of the uh, camper conversions on these but I was really impressed with these when uh, when I actually did go in one. Have a Proton here, looks like it's been left for a very long time. Smiley Transit, not too much other stuff in there. We all just come past this Citroen dealership because although there won't be any Saxos in here, maybe, probably not though, it's always nice to see what the new car game is like because I don't really ever pay attention if I'm quite honest. Interestingly enough actually, I think this year it's a Subaru garage as well, so a couple of Subarus just chilling over there. We have an S4, I'm gonna say that's an S4 from this generation. Very cool looking in what I believe to be uh, an Ardo Grey of some sort. Also, give us a like below if you saw the woman's face that was in the uh, S4 then. She was like, why are you videoing us, that's so odd. Another little spot here, what I believe to be a Celebration Yellow Fiesta. Gonna be worth some money one day, those. I am guaranteeing that. So quite a cool spot in the car park there. Looks like it's daily driven, not standard wheels, I don't think. Still cool to see. Got a checkered roof slot as well, which is a shout. Now, gonna, as the Biffa lorry comes past, creep up on this uh, Ford dealership. Some loudness going on down there. Fiesta SG in orange. Uh, relatively low numbers on these, I think they were. They're, this one's down 500 quid, I think, or 50 quid? Yeah, 50 quid that is deducted by. Maybe a future classic, as in, 30, 40 years time, will they ever be over 25 grand? Again, I wonder if it's got burp on it as well, that's no good. In regards to another bin lorry coast pass, in regards to performance models though, there isn't too many on the uh, Premier Ford Forecourt, which is a bit of a shame if I'm quite honest. I was expecting a couple more STs and various other bits. There's a Citroen on the Forecourt as well. I would absolutely love, if anybody actually works at this dealership, I'd absolutely love to get out the back of there and see what's about. I don't think it's ever going to happen though, but this connects nice, don't it? Look at that. Price, £20,000. Van prices are insane at the moment. Now here's one for all the motorbike fans out there. A Phaser Yamaha uh, FZR, I think these were. My friend had a blue one of these when I was growing up. Um, so when I had my uh, RVF 400, he actually had one of these. Completely different bike to the RVF, don't get me wrong, but still cool to see a really, really nice one out in April. Just come around the corner and found this um, facelift. Premier Edition, yeah, it's got the seats in it. 
uh, black civic type r what a condition to have one of these in of course going up in price very quickly at the moment getting rarer and harder to find just at a nice standard version so yeah i like to see that i again should have bought one of these when they were cheap now they're not premier editions are definitely going up in price as we speak and talking of civics this one modified one coming down here looks pretty cool moret headlights are a shout as well what a lad cheeky little combo here coming down focus st just indicating in silver one there pretty cool. and lovely old mini absolutely just such a big mini fan spotlights and everything so cool and the fiesta that we just spotted down there just come next door quick shout out to the guys at the garage for their vantage spot that i'm using today to uh, assess the situation of car spotting on the isle of wight shout out to these guys go follow them on instagram they are legends a very standard just catching the back of it there's seat cupra again maybe a future classic to uh, come up in the next couple of years we will see and as the fiesta comes out mate i'm telling you these are going to be loads of money soon buy one now so probably one of the best cars i've actually driven for a long period of time a fiesta st 80 motorsport one was absolutely insane love that car another absolutely stunning mini though there must be a couple of minis out today it's just so cool as we're spotting the uh, defender there bought a cup of coffee mate just for that little tea actually well i've got no tea in stock have we tea's tea's enough mate what's this uh got a span on snap on mate you've got money down here it'll snap on and cut me and stuff that's how we do it on this channel car spotting with a cup of tea legendary and just like that the zafira is coming back with the fyd diamond on the side what a lad also this is the astra that we've just seen super cool and just, 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 I'm assuming it's a 1.6, I'm not sure. Just nice to see it modified. Subtly modified as well. Okay, one of my absolute dream cars coming past right now. This is the dream for me. Bentley Molzan. This actual one has been uh, for sale for a while. I've watched the price come down. It's still way too much money. But I'd absolutely love to own that car. Lovely car coming down here. One that um, in years to come I'd love to drive. New RS? We say an S or RS5? I'm not sure actually. It looks like RS. Lovely bit of kit though, either way. Right? Lovely cool little spot here. Look at this. Yes, mate. Love to see it. And out of nowhere. Look at this. Rare to see on the Isle of Wight one of them. That sounds good. What if that's standard? That sounds good. And here we have something that I would absolutely love to own. This generation S Plus. Okay, so a trip down memory lane for everybody look at this absolutely stunning dodge ram i absolutely love mine oh it's so good to see another one yes it's a third gen i had a fourth gen but so good to see on uk roads considering how much petrol is at the moment you are a lad mate love it coming down here. Looks sick. With that, guys, we're going to end today's video here. I'm actually shooting this the next day because I completely forgot to end this video as I collected the Series 1, got excited and drove it home, of course. So thank you so much for watching. If you did like this style of content, just car spotting and talking about future classics, maybe that you want to buy in the not-so-distant future, and just uh, sort of sticking around and seeing what drives past around the Isle of Wight roads. Always interesting to see what is coming around. But make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.